Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In the Google Chrome web browser for desktop, we have a feature called Privacy Sandbox, which Google is using to phase out support for third-party cookies towards the end of next year, 2023. Now, within the Privacy Sandbox, we have another feature called Flock, which stands for Federated Learning of Cohorts. And I have posted numerous videos, mainly last year back in 2021, regarding these features. Now, to get to the feature, we just head up to the menu in the top right of the browser, click on Settings, head over to Privacy and Security. And yeah, we have the trial feature called Privacy Sandbox. And if we click on it, it takes us over to that page. Now, it says here, Chrome is developing new technologies to safeguard you from cross-site tracking while preserving the open web. And you can... Uh, toggle that on and off to participate in those privacy sandbox trials which as mentioned chrome is using to uh, basically phase out third-party cookies by the end of next year 2023 now as mentioned embedded in the privacy sandbox is another feature called flock which stands for federated learning of cohorts and if you are in a region where this trial is active, you will be able to toggle this on and off to participate in those trials. Now there have been a lot of there has been a lot of controversy regarding Flock, um, if it's going to actually increase or decrease the privacy uh, in the Google Chrome web browser. Because basically, what it does is um, it says that when this control is on and the status is active, Chrome determines which large group of people or cohort. Um, your recent browsing activity is most similar to and then advertisers can select ads for that group or cohort and then your browsing activity is kept private on your device according to Google um, but as mentioned there's been quite a bit of uh, controversy regarding the actual privacy of this feature now this is just a video to uh, update you regarding um, the privacy sandbox and in Google Chrome Canary which is a pre-release version of the Chrome web browser used for testing and experimenting. The Privacy Sandbox now has been upgraded and updated to Sandbox version 3. Now, to enable the new version of the Privacy Sandbox, uh, we have to um, in, uh, use a flag to enable the feature like most new features Google starts testing in this preview version of the Chrome web browser. So to do this, we have head up to our Omnibox, our address bar, enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, you can just type in privacy, which will be enough to bring up that relevant flag. And here we have it. Privacy Sandbox version 3 enables an updated Privacy Sandbox UI, that's user interface, also enables some related features, and that's available for Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS, and Fuchsia. Now, the, there's two options, disabled and enabled, and we're going to enable it. We relaunch the browser to apply that flag. And now, if we go back to uh, the Privacy and Security menu, click on Privacy Sandbox, you will see that the Privacy Sandbox now has been updated, where you can still take part in those as trials to uh, toggle the feature on and off now at the moment most of these new features are just placeholders and and are just the main features and there's not much actually going on because this is early days and there's actually not much too much known about this new privacy sandbox feature but the first one says um browser-based ad personalization which just says yeah um your interests as estimated by your browser, a list of interests will appear here as you browse the web and sites you visit that define your interests. A list of sites you visited will appear here as you browse the web. And then you've got ad measurement and spam and fraud reduction. So at the moment, these are mainly placeholders and it's early days still to version 3, which as I say, is enabled in Chrome Canary using that flag. But I just wanted to update you as I did post numerous videos on this previously. And as I get more information and, and more features and options get added, I will post accordingly. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.